Hello, my name is Rudrakant and I'm a part of Avaya Client Services team. This video speaks about how to configure a serial debugger tool to collect hard phone logs. So, what is a serial debugger tool and what is its utility? A serial debugger tool is devised to capture logs from Avaya series of DEX phones. It works on all type of phones which have a mode port to it. This is used by the field engineers and business partners to collect phone logs for a wire to analyze. This tool captures logs directly from the phone. It is also used to get into the phone's CLI and make administration directly into the phone. It helps to collect logs from the flash memory into our laptop so that we can analyze it offline. An analog socket gets connected to the phone's MOD port and the other end of it is connected to the service adapter. How they are connected, what they look like, we are going to see in the successive slides. Among many utilities, the Hyper Terminal, which is a Windows based utility, is the most common used interface to access the phone's CLI. So, how to procure this serial debugger? If you look closely into this screenshot, you will find that there is a product ID associated with it. You are expected to call up a via Comcode's hotline and provide this product ID. Also note that this, when you put this product ID, you would be told that this is a service adapter for the 14XX phones, as you can see in the underlined one. But the same tool works for all type of devices. So the components of a serial debugger tool. It comprises of a service adapter, a flatbed cable with an analog jack at both the ends, a long cable which has a USB port associated to one end. The other end has a trapezoidal socket which is used to provide power. As you can see in this picture, this is the one which we are speaking wherein the one end is connected to the USB port, the other end gets connected to the service adapter trapezoidal port. When you connect the flatbed cable to the phone's MOD port as you see in this picture, the other end gets connected to the port on the service adapter which has a phone icon associated to it. The setup should look something like this. Now we are almost done with 50% of the connections part. Now we need to install a software in the laptop which is which will be used to gather the logs on a serial tool. So the software that we have to install is usb underscore 3410 exe this software bundle needs to be run in our laptops the software bundle for the ease has been attached as a zip file with the attachments of this particular kb article once this bundle is successfully run a folder gets created inside our windows machine to locate the folder we need to go into the start my computer program files and find texas instruments incorporated folder over there. We have to then go inside the Texas Instruments Inc folder, find another folder TUSB 3410 single driver installer, get inside that, find another one called disk1. Once you are inside the disk1 folder, you would find executables, one of them being setup.exe. We need to run this executable. Once this executable is successfully run, and completed, we have to restart our Windows machine. We have to always select the default configurations while running both TUSB underscore 3410 exe and setup.exe. Nothing special needs to be done. Now the installation part of the software on our laptop is complete. So we would go inside the phone and make configurations over there. Do so. Get into the mute craft menu of the phone, go to the debug, set it on, go into log, set it to debug, exit out of your craft menu. Depending upon your phone's type and firmware version, your phone may or may not take a reboot. The phone's configuration is now complete. Now we shall go back into our windows machine and create the hyper terminals exact configuration for us to fetch the logs. To do so, let us go into Start, All Programs, Accessories, Communication, 
hyper terminal choose a name and icon of your choice and hit ok the next pop-up that you see is something similar to this one which is presented on this slide you need to look into the connect using drop it down you may find few com ports over there in my laptop i found com1 and com5 just exit out without making any changes now connect the usb cable which was there with the service adapter box to your laptop and the other end to the service adapter follow the same steps again reach into the hyper terminal select name and icon of your choice and see the drop down menu again for the connect using option this time you would see an additional port in my laptop this port was com16 so this is the port which we have to use in order to configure our hyper terminal select com16 hit ok come to the bitrate section select double one five two double zero as your bitrate speed apply and hit ok now you have reached the hyper terminal interface a terminal which would be something like as it is shown in my presentation here so try to hit enter a few times and you should see something as the output we are seeing over here this entails us that we are correctly logged into the phone and we are in good shape now so we are all set to capture phone logs all the activities carried now onwards inside the phone sh would show up on the hyper terminal there are two important points here if we do not set the phone into the debug is equal to on state nothing is going to show up on your hyper terminal if we do not set the phones logging to debug capabilities we may not see all the inf essential information that may be needed for the troubleshooting purposes the above two steps activates the phone's application to send the log now make the phone go off hook and off on hook a few times to see the data that gets written execute an additional command global brcm blog is equal to 1 to enable the additional logging go off hook and on hook again to see the differences in the number of log lines that dumped now the previous step in which we did global brcm blog is equal to 1 makes the phone operating system to send additional logs this is very helpful in the troubleshooting of hung reboot delayed response related issues which revolve more around the phone's operating system processor and its cpu utilization once we are done with our tracing ensure that you execute global brcm blog is equal to zero so i have logged now into a phone connections are still the same so this is where i land up I hit i enter few times and i'm into the phone i just i run a random command pwd to see how i am shaping up the hyper terminal is responding so let me go off hook and on hook a couple of times and see how things show up over here in the hyper terminal so you can see there have been a, some messages being flown out from some of the messages are getting logged in so at this point of time as i had said i just went on hook and off hook at three times i execute command as was shown in the presentation global brcm blog is equal to one i'm entering it now i'm again going off hook and let us see if there we if we see any differences in the logging so look at the amount of logs that got written i'm still off hook i'm doing on hook now so this is the importance of setting it to debug level so that the operating system itself dumps out more messages once you are done with your testing as i had stated it is very very important that we set it back to zero i've set it to zero to ensure that things have been correctly configured and modified let us go off hook and on hook again so it looks like we are back into the same state earlier so this is how we have to configure our serial debugger thank you for your time and watching this video 
We hope that the information was helpful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at the rate or on Twitter at avaya mentor.